Most of the 22 people who died in the attack had been involved in humanitarian missions in Iraq. And among the dead was Sergio Vieira de Mello, the UN's top representative in the country. Every year, the UN commemorates the loss by observing World Humanitarian Day. So, what's the objective of World Humanitarian Day? Well, it's a day to remember the brave humanitarian workers whose daily work can involve terrible dangers and even a risk to their lives. But it's also a day to build public support for the people at the centre of this humanitarian work, the millions of civilians around the world whose lives have been affected by conflict. That's why the 19th of August is a day to ask world leaders to commit to protecting vulnerable civilians and to do more to end conflicts in the world. Do you know where many of these conflicts are taking place? According to the UN, one of the world's worst humanitarian crises in recent years is in Yemen. Due to war and a shortage of food, it's said that up to 75% of the population, or about 22 million people, are in need of humanitarian aid and protection. Meanwhile, wars continue in Syria and South Sudan, and these are just a few of the countries where conflict is forcing people to live in extreme difficulty or to become refugees. Now, let's turn our attention to the risks that humanitarian workers face. Humanitarian workers often risk their own lives to provide civilians with food, shelter or health care. Sometimes these workers are attacked by people who want to steal food or medicine. Lots of conflict zones also have big problems with political or terrorist groups who see humanitarian workers as an ideal target to get international attention. In recent years, the UN has been promoting the online hashtag not a target, and it has a very clear message. Humanitarian workers have just one mission, to help people in need. And they should be able to do this in safe conditions. They shouldn't be a target. At the same time, these workers travel to very dangerous places to provide aid for innocent civilians who have not chosen to live in conflict. The hashtag also implies more generally that civilians shouldn't be a target. So, what about us, the general public? Is there anything that we can do? It may seem as if the problems of the world are impossible to fix, but there are a few things you can do to help in some way. As a first step, find out about the major humanitarian problems the world is facing at the moment. With a quick online search, you'll probably also find online petitions asking global leaders to increase their help for civilians in conflict zones and for the refugees that come from these situations. Or, if you'd prefer to help in a more practical way, try following the advice from previous campaigns for World Humanitarian Day. Do something good, somewhere, for someone else. It could be as simple as that. So, what action would you like to take for World Humanitarian Day this year? 
This episode of Special Days was brought to you by the British Council. For more great listening practice, visit the Learn English website and check the Learn English podcast app for regular new releases.